My love for our mother nature is limitless. I'm also curious about new places and adventure is my lifestyle. I love innovation. Science is a language to develop our world with religion. It is also an answer to many animal questions. My art comes from creation, and I want to continue making my world of art. Because this is my passion! I love wearing beautiful dresses, and I also love to see people with good guns. So, I'm going to make lovely clothing for my custom. Klimia Aloma, Kana Labare Aimat Liri, Kozi Chijabare, Turo Liri, Yimaja Aimat Rizi, a young Kwabu address for you. English are joined in Muga, Nashimaki, a ye palavare. Tata Mimiro and Naga Imatri, Taubala, the blue dress. Starfish Young Learners Program, English are the blue dress. Take all like Barak Mia. Alumming Lavak Mia, Yamanang and Wanga, Lungedi Ne, Kling Eddie Dwe. Season on a mere and ten in the Starfish Education are Kuso Yen. English are Badaz Gago, online on it to say, Daya life in Jana may come it. In Yadana season, it may serve Bido Mabe to Barak Mia. Starfish Education, a Pinya Dana season go. A person, Sunny Net and Ingrid Nida, Yeni, Chalna Yma Kranai T. Starfish Yalana Fish got the same. Daya life. ตินจาปูชาปิดออกมาเลยจิบาเรกเนี่ยอะคุโปรแกรมนี้ก็อะตัดชินเนมาสะลีเนี่ยเวคลีมยาด้วยยีเวตินจาปิมาผิดปีส
What about next? This is a small bird. Sparrow. What about next animal? This is giraffe. Okay, let's look at next animal. This is yes, zebra. What about this animal? This is cute, right? This is panda. What about this animal? This is deer. Okay, now I'm going to show you the last animal. What is that? Yes, it's frog. I believe most of you may know all these animals. Now let's move to next slide. This time, you are going to look at the pictures and trying to unscramble the words, which means you have to guess the words. I will show you an example. You will see a picture, and you will see some letters. Can you unscramble this word? What is that? Yes, the answer is skin, skin, skin. Skin is the outer layer of a person or an animal. Okay, now let's look at next picture. What is that? Can you guess the answer? It's feathers, feathers, feathers. You will see the colorful feathers in the picture. Which animal have feathers? Yes, birds have feathers. Now let's unscramble some more words. You will see a group of animals. Can you guess this word? This is mammals. 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 It's a group of animals which give birth and which give milk to their babies. Now, are you ready to guess another word? This is also a group of animals. The answer start with letter A. Can you guess what is it? The answer is amphibians. 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 Amphibian is a group of animals which live both on land and in water. Okay, now let's move to next slide. This is animal's body covering. Can you guess the answer? What is the answer? Skills. 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 Okay, good. Another one. Do you see the picture of a fish and a, an arrow? So, what is the answer? The answer is gills, gills, gills. Fish use gills to breathe in water. Okay, another word. What about this word? This is also body covering of the animals. The answer is fa, fa, fa. Which animal have fa? Like dogs and cats, they have fa. Now, are you ready to guess the last picture? What is the answer? 
The answer is wins. 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 Which animal have got wins? Yes, of course. Birds have wings to help them fly. Okay, good. You can unscramble many words today. So, are you ready to move to next slide? Now, you are going to do an exercise to check your understanding of the words. You have to read the given sentences and choose the correct answer from the given words. Are you ready to start? The first sentence. Birds use these for flying. So what is the answer? The answer is wings. Yes. Now let's look at the second sentence. Fish have these to help them breathe in water. So what is the answer? The answer is gills. Yes. What about next? An elephant and a tiger are part of this group. So what group is it? It is mammals. Good job. Let's carry on. Number four, frogs are part of this group. So which group does frog belong to? Do you still remember? The answers start with yes, letter A. That is amphibians. What about next? Number five. Birds have these to keep their bodies warm. So what is the answer? Yes, it is feathers. And next sentence, number six. Fish have these on their bodies. So what do they have on their bodies? The answer is skills. Yes. Now let's look at the last sentence. Number seven. Cats and dogs, they have these on their bodies. So what do they have on their bodies? The answer is Far. Okay, good job. Now, we are going to move another step of the lesson. That is, reading an informational text. Before we read, let's do pre-reading activity. Thinking. I'm going to show you a picture and you have to answer. What do you know about fish? You can think of many things. Where they live, what do they have on their bodies, and what they eat. Okay, now I will show you the examples. Fish live in water. So what can they do? They can swim. 
and what they have on their bodies. They have scales on their bodies. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to show you the pictures of the text. Look at the picture and guess what the text is about. You will see the pictures of animals on this. So, can you guess what the text is about? Yes, it's all about animals. In this text, we are going to learn about different kinds of animals and the group they belong to. This text is an informational text. Informational texts tell you everything around the world about people, animal, plants, and trees. You will know a lot of information about the world. So are you ready to start reading? Now, you are going to read the text quickly for general information. I will give you a few seconds to read. You don't need to read every single sentence carefully. Just read quickly for general information. Okay, let's start it now. What the text is about? What is the main idea? Yes, this is all about birds. You can also guess by looking at the picture and the title. Now, you are going to read the text again. This time, you are going to read more carefully for detailed information. I will give you a few minutes to do it. After that, I will be asking you some questions. You can start reading now. Now, you are going to read the text again for detailed information. This time, you can take more time.
Okay, I'm going to ask you a few questions now. What do birds have on their bodies? Yes, they have wings and feathers on their bodies. And do they lay eggs? Yes, they do. They lay eggs. And what keep their body warm? What keep their bodies warm? Yes, feathers keep their bodies warm. Now, you are going to read another paragraph. You are going to read the text quickly for general information. I will give you a few seconds to do it. You can start reading. Okay, what is this paragraph mainly about? Yes, this paragraph is about fish. You can guess by looking at the title and the pictures. Okay, good job. You are going to read the text again for detailed information. So take time. I will give you a few minutes to do this and read more carefully. Okay, are you ready to answer my questions? Fish, what do they have to breathe in water? Yes, they have gills to breathe in water. Another question is, what do they have on their bodies? Yes, they have scales on their bodies. Now, you have already read about birds and fish. I have a question to ask you. Let's think. How are fish different from birds? You can come up with many different ideas. Okay, let's think together. Fish, how they are different from the birds? They don't have wings and they don't have feathers. They live in water. So these are the differences between fish and birds. You can also give some more different answer. 
Noun. Are you ready to read another group of animals? Next group of animal is also interesting. Let's see. This time, you are going to read the text quickly to get general information. You can also look at the picture and the title to guess what the text is about. You can read now. I will give you a few seconds to read quickly. What is this paragraph about? Yes, this is all about amphibians. Good job. You are going to read again for detailed information. Are you ready to start reading? You can take a few more minutes this time to read more carefully. After that, I will be asking you some questions. Where do amphibians live? They live both on land and in water. And next question is, how can they breathe in water? Yes, they have gills to breathe in water. Okay, good job. Now you have already read about three groups of animals, birds, fish, and amphibians. Now we are going to read the last group of animal. Are you ready to start reading? Can you look at the pictures and the title and go through the text a little bit quickly? to get the general information of the text. You can start reading now.
Okay, what is this paragraph mainly about? What is the main idea? Yes, this paragraph is about mammals. Great. So you are going to spend more time to read the text for detailed information. You can take a few minutes to read. Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Mammals, what do they have on their bodies? Do you see the answer in the text? Yes, they have hair or fur on their bodies. And next question is, do you find one of the examples of water mammal? What is that? Yes, it's wheels. Next question is, what do babies get from their mother? Yes, they get milk from their mother. Okay, great. You have read about four different groups of animal. I hope you like reading about different groups of animal. I want to ask you a few questions after reading. What is your favorite part of the text? Which group of animal do you like the best? Example, you can say, I like reading about fish because fish are amazing. They can live in water. They have gills to breathe. So this is the example. You can also answer with your own ideas. Let's move to next step of the lesson. That is reading comprehension exercise. You have to read the given sentence and you have to circle true or false. Are you ready to do the exercise? Now let's look at the first sentence. I will read out the first sentence for you. Fish have wings to breathe in water. What is the answer? True or false? The answer is false. So do you spot the mistake in the sentence? What is wrong? Wind is wrong, yes. Fish, do they have winds? No, they don't have, right? So it should be fish have gills to breathe in water. Good job. Now let's move to the second sentence. Birds lay eggs with heart shells. Is it true or false? Yes, the answer is true. Birds lay eggs with a heart shell. What about next? Number three, 
Amphibians can live only on land. What is the answer? Is it true or false? The answer is false. Why false? Can you spot the mistake in this sentence? Amphibians can live not only on land. In water also they can live. That's why the answer is false. What about next sentence? People are mammals. Is it true or false? Yes, the answer is true. We the people are also mammals. We have hair on our skin, on our body. Thank you. Now, let's move to next exercise. This time, you are going to answer the questions. You are encouraged to try to answer in complete sentences. So are you ready to answer? Let's look at the first question. Where do amphibians live? The question is where? So you have to think about the place. So how will you answer? They live in what places? You can also answer, they live both on land and in water. That is also acceptable. So shall we try the second question? How do amphibians move? How they move? What is the answer? You can think. Okay, now let's check the answer. Amphibians, they walk and jump. This is the way they move. So, are you ready to answer next question? Question number three. What do mammals have all over their bodies? What do they have on their bodies? Do you still remember? Yes. The answer is, mammals have hair or fur on their bodies. Great. Let's go to question number four. You have to find three land mammals in the text. When you read about mammals, they give you some example animals. Among these example animals, you have to find three land mammals. Can you find it? The answer is cats, rabbits, and lions. These three mammals are described in the text. Okay. Now we are going to answer the last question. The question is, what do baby mammals drink? What do they drink? Yes, they drink milk from their mother. Excellent. So today, you have read an informational text about animals, 
amazing animals. So I hope you enjoy reading about animals. Now we are going to move to the next step of the lesson. Are you ready? This part is language practice. The aim of this lesson is to develop your speaking skill through an activity. It will be fun and I hope you like it. This is guessing the animals. So you can do this activity in pairs. At home, you can play with your your sorry you can play with your brothers and sister or even with your friends so i will show you an example how you can play this game so one student has to describe the animal and another student has to answer has to guess the animal okay so let me show you how you have to play so I will be describing the animal and you can guess what is that animal. It is tall. The color is brown and yellow. And it has a long neck. And that is a mammal family. So what is this animal? Can you guess? Yes, the answer is giraffe. So I will show you another example. I will describe one more animal. You try to guess what animal it is. Are you ready? This animal is big. It has a long nose. And the ears are also big. And this animal is a mammal family. So can you guess what is this animal? Yes, that is elephant. So this is the example. You are encouraged to practice at home to develop your language skills. You can do this activity together with your family members or with your brothers and sisters. I hope you like this activity too. Here comes the last part of the lesson today. That is writing. Today, you are going to write about your favorite animal group. But you have to do one thing that is very important. That is planning. I will show you how you have to plan before you write. Planning is very important stuff before you write something. So you can collect the ideas and you can think what you are going to write and how you will write. So today you are going to write about your favorite animal group, right? So you can recall your memory. You have read about different groups of animals, so you have got a lot of information about different animals group. So how will you plan? Let's see. For planning, you can use different ways. You can draw spider web, or you can even draw the pictures. Now I will show you an example. And you have to, sorry, you have to read the question and complete the word word here. So the first question is, what is your favorite animal group? So here, my example is fish. And you have to think another point. Where do they live? Yes. They live in water, so you can just write in water. Another question, 
What things do they have? So what do they have on their bodies? You can write gills or fins, tilts and skills. You can write only main words, not in a complete sentence. Next question. What do they do? So what do fish do? So just write they lay eggs. You, if you have your idea, you can add they can swim or they have gills to breathe. So all the main points you can write in spider web. If you like, you can draw the pictures. So when you get all the information and when you are ready, you can start writing in complete sentences. Now, I'm going to show you an example writing. You can also read this sample writing to get more idea. When you actually write, you can add some more facts that you know. You can also add the information from reading comprehension paragraph. Try your best and practice at home. Try your best and practice at home. So let's look at what you have learned today. Today, you have read an informational text about animals and you have practiced speaking skills through an activity that is describing the animal and guessing what is it. And next lesson is writing about your favorite animal group. I believe you enjoyed today's lesson and develop your speaking skill, reading skill, and writing skill. Thank you so much for your time. See you tomorrow.